God is good and all the time he's always faithful and he's good. We thank him for this far that he has brought us. For sure he is our Ebenezer. Today we are going to look about safeguarding our salvation. And as we start, let us believe and pray. Lord Jesus, we come before thy presence this evening, Lord. We say thank you for the gift of life that you've given unto us, Jehovah Father. Thank you, Jehovah Father, because you've made us your remnants, Jehovah King of Glory, Father. Despite the situations, Jehovah Father, that you're facing in life, Jehovah King of Glory, Lord. You are the mighty man of all, Jehovah. You are the great in battle, Jehovah Redeemer, Father. As we are going to listen to your word, Jehovah King of Glory, Father, may you use me as your vessel, Jehovah King of Glory, Lord. King of Glory, we open our spiritual eyes so that we can see from you, Jehovah. Open our spiritual ears so that we can hear from you, Jehovah. You are God in this land that you, Jehovah, Lord. Receive all the honor, receive all the glories, Jehovah. And it is in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray, believe in and trust him. Amen and amen. Our reading today will come from the book of Isaiah, chapter 5, verse 1 to verse 7. Verse 7 is where we are going to read, to read much. And it is for the vineyard of the Lord of the host is the house of Israel, and the men of Judah his pleasant land. And he looked for judgment, but behold, oppression for righteousness, but behold the cry. That is our theme point. Let us read from verse 1 now. Now will I sing to my well-beloved a song of my beloved touching his vineyard. My well-beloved has a vineyard in a very fruitful field, and he fenced it and gathered out the stones thereof, and planted it with the choicest vine, and built a tower in the midst of it, and also made a winepress therein. And he looked that it should bring forth grapes, and it brought forth wild grapes. And now, O inhabitants of Jerusalem, and men of Judah judge, I will pray you, betwixt me and my vineyard, what could have been done more to my vineyard that I have not done in it? Wherefore, when I looked that it should bring forth, grapes brought it forth was grapes. Verses 5. And now go to, I will tell you what I will do to my vineyard. I will take away the hedge thereof, and it shall be eaten up, and break down the wall thereof, and it shall be trodden down, and I will lay it waste. It shall not be pruned nor digged, but there shall come up barriers and thorns. I will also command the cloud that the rain no rain upon it. For the vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the house of Israel, and the man of Judah is pleasant land. And he looked for judgment, but behold, oppression for righteousness, but behold, a cry. Praise Jesus. The word of the Lord is a strong tower. God is our strength despite what we are going through. In Isaiah chapter 5, we are reading about his word whereby he had a vineyard. God had a vineyard, and the vineyard was the Israelites. And when we read about the story, we see that he had planted good things, good grapes, good wine price, but it came a time, instead of harvesting what was right, great grapes, good wine, they turned to be wild. And the farmer, let us call him the farmer, was so angry that he asked himself question, why did it get to be so? Why are the grapes bringing forth wild grapes? But the Lord is our strength. Uh, we, we are going through many things in our salvation. The vineyard is our salvation today. When you read the word of God, when you do things that are right, you are safeguarding your salvation. But when you are not reading the world, you can fall into temptations. But God is our strength. God is our pillar. 
we don't we, are, we don't have to wait until we get to the end that we are going the the doors the doors of heaven of our lands will be open out praise jesus thank you we read about this vineyard and we see that it came a time verses 5 i now go to i will tell you what i do to my vineyard i will take away the head thereof and it shall be eaten up and break down the wall thereof and it shall be trodden down we see that the owner of the vineyard became so angry to a point that he opened up the vineyard because he had made a surrounding a great surrounding so that there's no destruction that could take place but we see here in verse 5 he becomes so angry that he opened up the vineyard so that everything can be eaten up by the wild animals so that it can be eaten by, up by animals so that thorns may come up from the land god is so faithful in our salvation despite what you are going through when we pray to god so that we do according to his word so that we can dwell on his word he's so great that he cannot get that much angry but when you go astray you leave god's ways you get yourself into troubles you find things are not going in the right manner that you would like them to be you find things they are not right but when you live in the will of god when you follow the ways of the lord everything gets to be right everything is good everything is wow but when you live the ways of christ but when you leave everything just as the farmer opened up the vineyard so that the he drove off the hedges so that the plants, the, vine, the vines, and the grapes may be eaten up. The same way we take into our salvation. When you don't lean on God's word, when you don't do as for what God wants us to do, He will forsake us. He will lead us into temptations. And when we get into temptation, you are not going to live according to His word. So, as believers, let us safeguard our salvation in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 19, verses 3, and say, Hear ye the word of the Lord, O kings of Judah, and inhabitants of Jerusalem. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, behold, I will bring evil upon this place the which soever heareth his ears shall tingle the word of the lord is telling us that hear ye the word of the lord o kings of judah and inhabitants of jerusalem thus says the lord of hosts the god of israel behold i'll bring evil upon this place the which whosoever heareth his ears and tingle so when we don't follow what god wants us to do we are god is going to bring evil upon us just as he brought evil to the israelites the israelites as they have forsaken god god brought them things that they could not withstand but today when we believe in god and when we follow his word we shall overcome we shall we should safeguard our salvation no matter what we are going through no matter how hard times they are because god is faithful john 3 16 for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have a everlasting life so when we believe in god god loves us so we should dwell upon his grace upon his mercies upon his word so that because he loves us he will never forsake us he'll never lead us into temptation but he will always be delivering de delivering us from the evil god is so faithful so you have to believe whenever you get saved just 
dwell upon the world so that you can safeguard your salvation. It is so easy to go astray. It's so easy to let go of your salvation. But when you start with the word, when you start firm into the word of God, you shall conquer everything. God bless you until you meet again.